Hello everyone, my name is Ahmad Tajuddin and today we will present to you guys about uh, Traffic Signal Control which is uh, our mini project for Fuzzy Logic. Group member consists with Ahmad Tajuddin Biambra which is me myself and then Nadra Batrusha, Nur Zulaika, Putri Nur Zulaika, Shaira Nabila and the last one is Nurhana. For introduction, traffic congestion refers to the condition when the volume of vehicles on the road exceeds its capacity, leading to slow movement, increased travel times, and decrease in overall road efficiency. It has become a persistent uh, issue in urban areas worldwide, causing numerous problems and challenges. Firstly, traffic congestion hampers uh, productivity and economic growth as people spend an inefficient amount of time stuck in traffic, leading to delays and inefficient in reaching their destinations. Moreover, traffic congestion poses so, uh, safety risks and increases the likelihood of accidents due to the frustration and impatience of drivers. However, with the increasing complexity and unpredictability of traffic patterns, intelligent uh, traffic control systems have emerged as a necessity. This system continually continuously sense and adjust the timing of traffic light based on real-time traffic condition, including the presence of traffic jams. Fuzzy Logic plays a crucial role in controlling traffic lights in this in this intelligent system. Fuzzy Logic allows for consideration of multiple factors and variables, uh, such as arriving vehicle, queuing vehicle, fog and pedestrian uh, activity to make informed decisions regarding the timing and uh, sequencing of traffic lights. By using fast logic, this system can adapt and respond to changing traffic conditions in a more uh, nuanced and intelligent manner. For problem segment, to begin with, one of the key problems that necessitate the creation of traffic control fuzzy logic system is the persistent issue of traffic congestion. Existing traffic control systems often struggle to effectively alleviate uh, congestion, leading to significant delays, reduced road capacity, and overall inefficiency in urban areas. Uh, the increasing number of vehicles on the roads, coupled with uh, limited infrastructure expansion, has exacerbated this problem. The traditional fixed timing tra uh, traffic light failed to adapt to the dynamic uh, nature of traffic conditions, resulting in prolonged uh, traffic jams and frustrated commuters. A traffic uh, control fuzzy logic system can address this problem by continuously monitoring and analyzing real-time traffic data to make intelligent decisions regarding traffic light timings. Furthermore, another critical problem that needs to be addressed when developing a traffic control fuzzy logic system is the issue of inaccurate traffic flow prediction. Existing methods of predicting uh, traffic patterns often fall uh, short in providing uh, precise estimations of traffic vol volume and condition, uh, conditions level. This lack of accuracy hampers the ability to optimize traffic light timing effectively and efficiently manage traffic flow. Another point worth noting is that existing traffic control system has a significant problem which is the lack of adaptability to change traffic conditions. A traditional system relies on fixed timings to uh, traffic lights regardless of the vary, uh, varying uh, levels of traffic volume and congestion throughout the day. This lack of adaptability has created the issue of traffic congestion and led to insufficient traffic flow. Last but not least, an essential consideration when designing a traffic control fuzzy logic system is addressing safety concerns. Uh, the current traffic control system may not adequately prioritize safety at intersection, leading to potential risks for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers. In many cases, fixed timing traffic lights do not account for the varying speeds and of vehicle approaching intersections, increasing the likelihood of accidents. On to objective, we have four uh, main objective, which is the first one is to develop a fuzzy logic based traffic control system that dynamically adjusts traffic light timing to optimize traffic flow, reduce congestion, and uh, enhance overall road efficiency. Second, to improve the accuracy of traffic flow prediction by incorporating fuzzy logic and real time data, allowing the system to anticipate the adapt and adapt to changing traffic condition more effectively. Third, to create a traffic control system that is adaptable to varying traffic patterns throughout the day, considering factors such as arriving vehicle, queuing uh, vehicle, fog and pedestrian activity to ensure traffic management. And the last but not least is to design a fuzzy logic based traffic control system that prioritizes 
uh, safety at intersections by integrating uh, real-time data from sensors such as vehicle detection and pedestrian co recognition system and dy dynamically adjusting traffic light timings to minimize the risk of accidents. The scope of a uh, traffic control physiologic system is wide-ranging and role and holds significant potential for enhancing traffic management and control by incorporating uh, linguistic variables such as arriving vehicle, vehicle queue length, park pedestrian activity, and green light duration. The system can intelligently analyze real-time data and make informed decisions to optimize traffic flow. The system ability to adapt to changing traffic conditions such as varying, uh, such as varying arrival volumes, queue length, park level, and pedestrian activity allows for dynamic adjustment in green light durations. This adaptability can result in improved traffic efficiency, reduced congestion, and enhanced safety at intersections. Additionally, the fuzzy logic system can take into account uh, uncertainties and vagueness inherent in traffic conditions, making it a robust and flexible approach to traffic control. The scope of this system extends beyond conventional fixed timing traffic control methods, enabling more accurate and adaptive control strategies to uh, address the challenges posed by modern urban traffic. Ultimately, the scope of traffic control physiologic system encompasses the optimization of traffic flow, reduction of congestion, improvement of safety, and enhancement of overall road efficiency, making it a promising solution for intelligent traffic management in urban area. Moving on to the domain, the transportation industry serves as the primary focus of the domain for developing a fuzzy logic system for traffic signals. The management of traffic flow and the efficient and secure movement of cars and people on roadways are both made possible by traffic lights, utilizing cutting edge algorithms and methodologies. The creation of fuzzy logic system for traffic signal management entails the analysis of real-time data such as traffic volume, vehicle speed, and pedestrian density. The system six provide adaptive and intelligent regulation of traffic lights by using fuzzy logic principles, taking into consideration numerous parameters including traffic patterns and time of day and road conditions. The ultimate objective is to improve the overall transportation efficiency and safety by maximizing traffic signal timings, easing uh, congestion and cutting travel times and minimizing congestions. On to the literature review, the article titled Application of Fuzzy Logic uh, to Control Traffic Signals presents a novel uh, approach to intelligent traffic signal control using fuzzy logic techniques. In this review, we will explore the knowledge acquisition aspect, aspect of the research paper and discuss its significance in developing an efficient traffic control system. The author of the paper addressed the problem of traffic congestion, highlighting the limitations of traditional traffic light controllers that operate on fixed cycle times. They propose the use of fuzzy logic controllers which can handle linguistic and unpredictable traffic data to optimize signal timing and improve traffic flow. The research by utilizing fuzzy logic techniques can co uh, controller can the controller can effectively deal with the uncertainties and fluctuation present in uh, traffic patterns. The paper provides a throughout discussion on the design and implementation of the fuzzy uh, traffic signal controller. We move on to fuzzy inference mandani style. So for inference system, inference system is a technique that uses fuzzy sets to map input to output. In the design of the traffic signal, we implement that the mandani inference method 
Madani Fazi Info Process is conducted in four steps, by, by which are falsification of the input variables, rule evaluation, aggregation of the rule, and, and, and defalsification. The Mamdani Fazi model requires collecting and considering the inference result from the system's input and output. Compared to the Sujena style, the Mamdani system is preferred due to its easily understandable rule basis and rules generated by human experts. Once the input variables are fuzzy, uh, falsified, the inference system applies fuzzy rules to these fuzzy variables. These rules are typically formulated using if then statements and are created. For falsification, falsification is the process of converting Crips input into fuzzy input. It involves determining the degree to which converting the arriving vehicle, uh, queuing vehicle, fog and pedestrian activity Crips input belong to appropriate fuzzy sets. This is done by assigning membership values ranging from 0 to 1 to indicate the degree of membership. The fuzzy values corresponding to each input for relevant samples. So, for example, case 1, arriving vehicle is 3.5, queuing vehicle equal to 15, fog 600 and pedestrian activity is 12.5. By using rule 5, if arriving vehicle is less and queuing vehicle is medium, and fog is medium and pedestrian activity is moderate, then green light duration is medium. So, um, for graph A1, we can see it equals to 0 0.9. For B1, it equals to 0 0.55. And for C1, the graph is equal to 0 0.5. And D1 is equal to 0 0.5. Now, we move on to case 2. Arriving vehicle is equal to 4. Queuing vehicle equal to 15. Fog equal to 600. And pedestrian activity is equal to 11. By using rule 14, if arriving vehicle is less and queuing vehicle is medium and fog is medium and pedestrian activity is moderate, then green light duration is medium. So, the graph for A2 shows that it equals to 0 0.4 while B2 is equal to 0 0.6. For C2 is equal to 0 0.35 and D2 is equal to 0 0.85. Then for case 3, arriving vehicle is equal to 15, queuing vehicle equal to 4, fog equal to 300, and pedestrian activity equal to 6. By using rule 35, if arriving vehicle is medium, and queuing vehicle is less, and fog is high, and pedestrian activity is moderate, then green light duration is short. So, for the graph A3, it shows that it equals to 0 0.6, while B3 equal to 0 0.5. And for C3, it equals to 0 0.65, while D3 equal to 0 0.2. Case 4, arriving vehicle equal to 25, queuing vehicle equal to 3, fog equal to 1,100, while pedestrian activity equal to 9. So by using rule 55, if arriving vehicle is high and queuing vehicle is less, and fog is low and pedestrian activity is low, then green light duration is medium. So for graph A4, it's equal to 1, while B4 equal to 0 0.4. And for C4, equal to 0 0.5, while D4 equal to 0 0.23. Case 5, arriving vehicle equal to 40, queuing vehicle equal to 10, fog equal to 1,300, while pedestrian activity equal to 15. By using rule 78, if arriving vehicle is high, and queuing vehicle is high, and fog is medium, and pedestrian activity is high, then green light duration is strong, is long. So the graph uh, shows for A5 equal to 0 0.2 while B5 equal to 1. For C5 equal to 0 0.65 and B5 equal to 1. So for rule evaluation, Mamdani style evaluates the rule uh, antecedent using the traditional fuzzy operation of N and R. The R fuzzy operation is used for the rule antecedent disjunctions. However, we use the N fuzzy operation intersection to assess the conjunction of the antecedent. So, for example, rule 5, rule evaluation if arriving vehicle is less which is 0 0.9 and queuing vehicle is less which is 0 0.55 and fog is medium which is 0 0.5 and pedestrian activity is moderate uh, which is 0 0.5, then green light duration is short. So, the output will show that green light duration is short which is minimum 0 0.9, 0 0.55, 0 0.5, 0 0.85.
uh, give the light duration 0.5 for rule 40 if a driving vehicle is less 0.5 and carrying vehicle is medium 0.6 and fog is medium 0.35 and pedestrian activity is moderate 0.85 then green, green light duration is medium so the output will give green light duration is medium which is mean in bracket 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.35 0 0.85 will give its output is 0 0.35 for green light duration is medium and for rule 35 if arriving vehicle is medium which is 0 0.6 and green vehicle is less 0 0.5 and fog is high 0 0.65 and pedestrian activity is moderate 0 0.2 then green light duration is short so we give the output green light duration short um, give the value 0, 0 0.2 so for rule 55 if arriving vehicle is high 1.0 and queen vehicle is less 0 0.4 and fog is low 0 0.5 and pedestrian activity is low 0 0.23 then green light duration is medium so it will give the output green light duration is medium will give the value 0 0.23 for rule 78, if arriving vehicle is high 0 0.2 and queen vehicle is high 1.0 and fog is medium 0 0.65 and pedestrian activity is high 1.0, then green light duration is long. So it will give the output green light duration is long, give the value 0 0.2.